the Joe Rogan experience. Was Amanda Nunez your your most difficult fight? Uh, I never was considered like um, difficulty of the fight, only for the fight, <laughs> for mm -hmm. these five rounds or less. Uh, for me, difficulty of the fight, it's combination of training camp, your approach to the fight, fight week, and the fight itself. So uh, I still cannot like um, answer this question. I think it's the hardest question. And uh, every time people ask me, like, what is your hardest fight, hardest opponent? And I just cannot answer mm. because it's so different. Each fight, it's a different approach, different training camp. Everyone is difficult. Difficult with their like own style, mm -hmm. something like that. Uh, That's why hard to say. Hard. What is difficult about Amanda's style? <laughs> her size is <laughs> size. <laughs> it's yeah. not her style. It's not her style. It's just she's big and heavy. Yeah, and power. Uh, everyone has power. Everyone has power. One, if we are speaking about one thirty-five weight class, every everyone has like uh, a lot of power. But uh, Amanda, I think she's just like bigger than anyone. Bigger. You think she's bigger than the rest of the division? What she's work weight? Uh, what is her working weight? One sixty, one seventy. I don't know. Is it really that big? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, she does fight at one forty-five, and she looks the same at one forty-five as she does at one thirty-five. And obviously, at one forty-five, she's able to knock out Cyborg. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like you know what about the knockouts? Um, everyone has like chances to knock out each other. So it's just like, it's it's 50-50, it's the situation. If, for example, you have interchange, the chances are more for each one, right? But you have to smart to have, you have to fight very smart. You know that uh, small gloves, it's like more possibility to be knocked out or mm -hmm. you make the no knockout. So if, um, it's kind of like, or you, or you gonna hit, or they gonna hit you. So it's kind of like, this is what I saw in their fights. So it was interchange, and this interchange, who's on that moment were more lucky. If you had a long time out, like if the UFC said, uh, here we are, it's, uh, we're, we are in uh, October, if they said, uh, Valentina, August, next year, we would like you to fight Amanda Nunes. That's going to be this big super fight. Would you try to gain weight? Would you lift weights? Would you do anything differently? Or would you just concentrate on technique and strategy and maintain the same weight you're at now? We are in October and August. Yeah. Do you know anything? They're going to approach me with this? I'm, I'm, I'm going to try. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think if, when I look at the two of you, it's the most compelling fight. In, in the UFC and in, in women's MMA, I believe that's the most compelling fight because you're both at the top of your game and you, there's an argument for both of you to be the greatest of all time. I'm not going to um, do anything special to lift up my weight. You wouldn't no. start working out no. and lift weights? No, 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 because um, I don't believe it's going to help. I believe it's going to be worse for the fighter because if... In your whole life, you was like um, certain body type. You know how to carry like certain muscles, amount of muscles. Mm -hmm. And th then suddenly for last two, three months, you start to carry way more. So what's going to happen? You're going to be slower. You're not going to have same uh, resistance for the whole fight because you have to carry more mm -hmm. <laughs> weight on top of you. So I will do the same. I just want to do the last like last day weight cut for what I do for, for <laughs> right. 125. I gonna lose. Uh, I'm not gonna lose this six pound. What is like? Um, That's what, what I you do, do for yeah. 130, And I just will eat normally as I mm. do and train the same ways as I do. It's interesting to see different people's approaches, right? Like uh, when Israel Adesanya went up to challenge Jan Bohovic for the 205-pound title. He did the same thing that you're saying. Mm -hmm. He didn't gain any weight. He just mm -hmm. uh, just concentrated on his te technique and training. But there was moments in that fight where the size of Jan Bohovic was 
uh, it was evident when in the mm-hmm. grappling exchanges when he was able to control him on the ground. Do you think that there's any benefit? I mean, this is why I'm saying if you have a long time. I'm not saying if you just have a, a normal eight week camp. I'm saying if they give you eight months, nine months, and they let you know in advance, you still don't think you'd ever try to gain any weight? I don't think it's uh, no. it's still going to help because uh, someone naturally bigger every time will have this advantage, being mm-hmm. bigger. No matter how more weight you're going to put on top, you are still the same, just with the extra weight on yeah. you. <laughs> well, that's why I'm interested in John Jones. And John Jones, when he's trying to move up to the heavyweight division, he's gained a lot of weight. And he wants to be over the 265-pound limit and then cut back down to 265. So I believe he's walking around somewhere in the 260s now. I think we will know the answer only in when he will fight right. in this weight class. And we will know exactly how it's going to affect him. Will it be good for him or bad for him? So we don't know. As I say, every person is different. And I know how my body works. I know uh, what is good for me, what is bad for me. Israel, he knows exactly the mm-hmm. same about his body type. John Jones, he knows uh, exactly about himself. So this is uh, everyone's approach. And I think everyone should do what they think it's going to help them to win. So for you, from going down from 135 to 125 was the right move. You felt like much better at 125. It's my natural weight right. class. It's like uh, it's like what I was competing all the time. Have you ever thought of going lower? 115. Yeah. And uh, die from the hunger. <laughs> <laughs> Watch the entire episode for free only on Spotify.